P7's model tool allows you to use any model to label any object you want across any region of an image or video. You're already familiar with our auto annotate model that is class agnostic so it's able to segment any object without needing any training but it will only do one at a time. Model tool allows you to select any model from B7 or from the wider internet and use it to label multiple objects and multiple classes within a region or an entire image or video. In this case, I am using a model that I trained directly on V7 called Worker PPE 50 that is trained on 50 images of Worker PPE. I switched it on and I will now find it in the auto annotate menu within this dropdown that says generalized. If I open it up, Right below here, I will find Worker PP50, and it tells me that it's trained on the hard hat, Hivis, and person classes, and it's an instant segmentation model, so it will output polygons. When I select it, I will also find two new settings up at the top: a map classes button and a confidence score. Confidence score tells me that any annotation with a confidence of 50% or higher will be displayed if I use this model. I'm going to set it to something lower, so I will have it uh, make a mistake. Generally, if a confidence score is below 70%, you should probably review it as a human. In the map classes button, I can then select which classes within this model should map to the ones in the dataset. In this case, it's a perfect match, but let's say that I import this model from outside of V7 or from the internet, and it knows the pedestrian class. I could use this pedestrian class to map it to the person class that I have here. I'm going to now create a region around these people and watch the model do its work for me. In this case, I can review the annotations with the lowest confidence score, such as this one over here, and notice that it's actually a duplicate. It has a 76% confidence and it's above a 94% person uh, annotation. So I can then delete it. When I'm happy with my work, I can move on to the next image. In this case, we have two very large objects or people in and I can use this face mask detector to label them all in one go. However, rather than making a region, I can use this neat shortcut of command enter or control enter in a Mac to automatically select the entire image and run the model through it. I can review the feedback, look at the confidence scores and move on to the next. Here we have a tax form and I need to find the tax ID, the form ID in, uh, in this large form full of text. I can press command enter and send it through the model that tells me that the form ID is over here on the top left with a confidence score of 89%, color coded to show me that this is probably good. I can also run a whole lot of uh, formats within the system. I have ran a PDF previously. I am now running a DICOM file in 16-bit images. So this has windowing and a much wider gamut of color. In this case, I'm going to press Control Enter and use it to segment these two lung regions within this thoracic cavity. You can also use text scanner through the model tool. In this case, I'm going to select the auto annotate tool, have the text scanner model selected and make sure that text is mapped to either text or whatever you want to call text. Here we have a very ambitious image with many different alphabets and I'm going to send it through the uh, model entirely. It's a very high resolution image so this process will be slightly slower on canvas like this than sending it through a model tool. It will take a couple of seconds more. You can see that it's outputted the uh, bounding boxes around all regions of text that it could find. I can review the ones with the lowest confidence score and notice that this one is quite low. In fact, it does contain a mistake. This license plate is VF, not UVF. So I can make that correction. I can also check for other regions, the one that at least I can read in Latin text and notice that it is in fact correct. Moving on to the next image, here we have a life sciences case in which I have some bright field microscopy. This is actually from my home microscope of red blood cells and white blood cells. You can see that there's a lot of these annotations to be made, a lot of cells, and I don't really want to do all of this manually. So I can use the auto annotate tool, select this blood 62 model that I have trained previously on 62 images of this and play it on a region of the image. It will start doing the work for me and start displaying blood cells by the highest confidence one. In this case, this model is 
made to output round polygons or something similar to ellipses. It's going to take a few seconds to complete the whole canvas. We'll notice that it found a white blood cell right here in the middle of the image. So I can check to verify that it is in fact a white blood cell. And it does seem to be one. It's also outputting the last remaining cells. And if I click on this one, we'll notice that it has a very low confidence score and we can go and check on why it is in fact half occluded and on the edge of the screen. We'll still consider it to be a legitimate find, so we will leave it in. If we were to be using a lower confidence score, it might even find the ones that are half cut off by the edge of the microscope. However, I made a mistake here and only selected a portion of the image. I can press Ctrl Z to start undoing all of these cells. I can also find a better shortcut here and delete all visible annotations since I don't just want to do, undo this uh, one action, but all of them. This is Model Tool. You can find it as a shortcut of N within your WorkView Canvas on B7 Darwin. Hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial and thanks for watching.